to this welcome to one of our videos most of my hobbies are involving a lot of exercise like cycling hiking canoeing even motoring they're quite physically active and um, as I'm getting a little bit older I needed a hobby that I could do which was more relaxing um, which I could do with it's bad weather and thing another and I've sort of got drifted back into ham radio and uh, I've passed my test in 1983 and in UK and I then later on got my Royal Yachting license for radio as well and uh, the, obviously the technology's moved on and I haven't in terms of knowledge and um, the, the bands on the radio have changed and also the number of stations have gone in terms of on the medium wave and long wave and, um, but I've got myself a modern receiver but for just a bit of fun I thought I'd build a crystal radio I made one of those ooh, when I was at school and then I made one using a toilet roll and bits of wire and uh, this week I've been knocking this um, radio up from bits and pieces lying around and uh, it's got basically a tuning knob and this one switches the windings of the coil you have an aerial and an earth and a headphone socket and the headphone socket has got to be a crystal type and they look like this because this radio runs um, doesn't require any batteries and this is a scrap piece of plastic a couple of spare terminals I used on my balance and I'll just turn it over and here's the coils this one's wound on a piece of um, plumbing pipe and um, the switch here switches in different windings for the different bands uh, this is another coil additional coil added on for additional bands and it's very simple design uh, I wanted to get an air spaced capacitor for it but um, they want like 15 17 pounds for one these days and so I went for uh, a modern tuning capacitor um, which is used in a lot of radios and it's not air spaced it's got like sheets of um, plastic between the veins so it's not high voltage or anything like that uh, loading resistor capacitor and then this here is the um, detector and that's it um, it does work uh, the only thing is I can only pick up a very strong signal and it needs a length of wire for the aerial and I'm able to pick up I think it's um, BBC Radio 5 Extra or Radio Live and a few fire stations um, I, I expected to pick up more stations to be perfectly honest and um, this is a uh, Express be a crystal earpiece, but it, it's not very good. It's not as good as the original ones. It looks like it's got a piezo in it rather than a lump of crystal because the early ones had big crystals in. And that's what it looks like. Um, so, this is just an introduction. I'm not going to do a wiring diagram, there's plenty on the internet. Anybody can make one of these with a soldering iron and uh, I'm going to do some calibration on it I'm going to put a signal generator on and work out exactly which medium wave, long wave bands it covers it's only AM, it doesn't cover sideband or anything like that so thanks for watching and um, please subscribe and like 